हेलो पिछला केस आपका हो गया एक कैंडिडेट वुड रादर हैव मुस्तफा एंड खालिद देन साद नियाज लेट मी बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट हेलो कैन यू हेयर मी Doctor, sir, please can you tell us the case? Okay. The next case is of a 38-year-old male with no known comorbids. He came to us with complaint of uh, jaundice for about a month. His total bilirubin now is 4.2, and alkaline phosphatase is 246. His uh, MRCP was done on 5th of April. That shows mild narrowing noted at the mi uh, mid portion of the common bile duct, and a small single area is seen in the proximal part of common bile duct, measuring about 3 millimeters, representing cholelithiasis. intrahepatic ducts are prominent so the impression is of cholelithiasis with possible structure at the mid portion of common bile duct we are proceeding with the ercp okay uh, so so one of the things that we encounter here a lot is um, is uh, is cld we all see a lot of chronic liver disease and i think uh, you know platelet counts is something that's very important to look at uh, before doing ercp in in pakistan definitely sure uh, along with inr so as a practice uh, what i want to see is basically cbc and and inr really when i'm doing ercp that's all okay and uh, what's uh, your threshold for platelets for sphingotin okay uh cld it can be lower yeah but uh, but otherwise it is uh, yeah no, for us is 75 and uh, uh, for sphingotin what is the platelet count for i Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Uh, we can see you. Okay. You're can looking you? very beautiful. Thank you. Can you hear me though? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mustafa. What We're did he have for food last night? I, I don't. <laughs> uh, sure. I I'll reserve. Um, Mustafa, but I'll say I'll I'll add one thing. Yeah. Today you're looking more yourself because you maybe got a little bit of sleep, two three hours. <laughs> maybe. Because <laughs> he hadn't slept for like thirty hours yesterday, so he was totally. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. We'll um we'll try this. Oh, I'm so, so happy. Go ahead. Up. You're doing the ACP. Yes. How many are you doing? Thirty-nine, forty. Forty. Where are you based? Atabad. Atabad. Stores. Stores. का जो होता है ना जो surgical equipment. Okay. Okay. What is this at the tip? Oh, that's the screw. Yeah. Okay. Okay. To remove the. Sure. The surgical, so they are the the kings, right? Laparoscopic. Yeah, the if you look at the video images of the scope, the video images are amazing. Um, I love this silver thing in, in the scope because it. You're comfortable this, doing. I think the scope should be silver. I don't know why they are black. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it, it looks a little bit more modern. <laughs> it's different for sure. Yeah. Fancy, you know. At least it looks like you're in the new age, you know, Nea Pakistan. Yes, go ahead and start. Black is actually No, no, black is darkness, right? We need to come to brightness. Control panel the the 
end of the day the responsibility is ours exactly yeah so you have to understand uh, if the patient desaturates or has an issue with anesthesia or with 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 the procedure you are doing or the wrong selection of case the responsibility will uh, actually lies with us because we are the ones who are, uh, yeah. the patient is ours thoda sa flex okay nahi nahi aap wo to theek hai wo theek hai your your big wheel i Khalid does it slightly differently. I have it a slight come down towards you, or then go inside over the tongue, and then as you advance, you can now you can extend. And it should go straight through. Good. The lights come first behind you. वो फुट पेडल का है मैं देता हूं फुट पेडल का क्या जी कटिंग को पल्स कट फास्ट हो ठीक है नहीं वो मैं कहता हूं फ्लोरो का दे दो आपको दूसरे में अपने पास है मुझे दे दें अगर आप माइनर करें तो नहीं नहीं सो देयर आर डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ यूजिंग द फ्लोरोस्कोपी आई पर्सनली एक्चुअली प्रेफर टू हैव द पेडल माय सेल्फ अम and at this stage i usually get my scout film before i'm even in position just to know I, where my scope I, is i told, i i do the same i like to have my fluoro uh, yeah. but i mean i un, i'm uh, people also like to have their own wire yeah uh, personally uh, my Friends. wire is with with usually with my tech so okay and they are pretty good so they know what we need sure to do. yeah and, uh, we have our fluoro tech थोड़ा सा suction in advance yeah exactly advance suction in advance your scope keep advancing towards the big wheel towards you and then advance kya ho raha hai aapko resistance feel ho rahi hai drop your big wheel the big wheel away from you There a big wheel up. It should go. I, I don't understand. Big wheel towards you. You're right there. Thumb towards you. Small wheel to the right. Try it again. Up. Try it again. Advancing. Oh, it's. You can see in the floor. I don't know if you see the floor. It's looping in the stomach. Let me try it for a second. It,
there. So I think it's just, it's good to be cautious and not over, uh, sort of, push, be over pushy. But I think you just have to, in this one, you just have to keep, you know, it was just a slight angle adjustment. So I'm going to try it, let you do that, okay? So advance, there you go. Suction and then big wheel towards you and then keep advancing. There you go. Okay, now slow down. There you go. Good, excellent. So we saw the minor papilla at the top and now you're going to reduce yourself, right? Into short position. Good. Uh, now you want to optimize your papilla. I think it's not bad. Actually, first I, I would, what I would do is, there you go, slightly, not so much. But now you're in the zone, so you have to do small movements, right? The small wheel to the right a tiny bit. And big wheel slightly towards you. They are the ones that are drinking. Hello. Yes. Um, can right you sh there. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to see the flora just to see what the scope is like. Sure. That's good. Actually, ready? This position is good. I think it looks good, right? I, I think you will find it once I in the, at this stage I usually get the synchrotome down. It's the bag like that. Please give me that bag. We can study the papilla, you can see it's quite a prominent papilla mm. and the trajectory of the bile duct you can see if you go up as Dr. Khaled was saying, you want to go up the middle of it. So if you go up there, that's where the bile duct is going to run. Oh sorry, so you can just go up, that's your trajectory right? So now get back into position because you're getting above the papilla. The guy in office will be waiting for the bag. Oh, bag are you? Um, <coughs> what are you waiting for, Mustafa? Sorry. The bag on the cap will. It's all right. Uh, let them. Oh, the well, <laughs> it's okay. The cap wasn't punctured. So okay, okay, I, I no, no, no problem. Yeah. While you were uh, looking there, the ampulla is constantly telling you, "I'm waiting." Yeah, but this is a nice practice in restraint. Okay. Be comfortable with your setup before you start manipulating the ampulla. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, so I think that's the main. Uh, this plastic bag system uh, that we have, um, I, I think I had. Oh, careful! Okay, so your elevator should have been locked all the way. Was your elevator locked? I, I went locked? to one of the units internationally, so and I saw this. Relax your elevator. It, it stops this Relax splashing of fluids. And now lock it. So you just have a small. All the way down. That's a lock. Now a push. Small plastic against it. Um, push against. Bag, it should um, not come out. Which, uh, Are you feeling the resistance? Goes underneath okay. the biopsy when you're advancing valve anything, and you push it, it always and, has to and be then completely any locked. That Otherwise, you can you see that trauma. That so let me just show you. So we were just discussing how not having the elevator locked can lead to this, because the elevator wasn't locked and the cannula came right through. Oh, I just actually before that I had told these people, and I was just telling that yeah. elevator should be always locked. locked. Because before anything comes out, you should feel it against the elevator, relax your Absolutely. elevator. Absolutely. And then, by the way, on this scope, you can actually, camera is pretty, you can see the, you can see the movement of the elevator away from the elevator with this detachable knob. Oh, really? Which okay. is interesting as a, as a sort of faculty observing your trainee, whether they're using the elevator or not. Oh, wow. So anyway, the other thing I've just done is locked the small wheel slightly to stabilize it. And now I'm going to let you do the rest. Okay. 
So if you do, so before you go, yeah, start cannulating, if you pull back your cannula and see if the big wheel will take you closer to the papilla. So if you do big wheel towards you, that's good. And then just, here you're just going to do small movements with the, both the wheels to see if you can, what's your best position. At this stage you can advance your cannula a bit and see, okay, again, small movements. Can we see the floral image, uh, please? I w just want to see the position of the skull yeah. in the stomach. How's that? Can you see it? Uh, they have to change the floral image. So that'll be, I think, on their end. Floral ko dikhade. Okay, now you're too far, okay. So you see, you can magnify it. Yeah. So before you, do, what do you think where you are? So when that happens, I'll tell you one thing I'll tell you. In ERCP, the movements have to slow down. This is not colonoscopy, this is not upper endoscopy. Once you're in the zone, you have to really slow yourself down and do micro movements. And one thing I'm going to show you because we're in no rush here, but let me just show you one thing here. So every little move you do is going to make a difference. You do this with your wrist, it's going to make a difference. You do elevator up down, it's going to make a difference. Big wheel up down, you change your feet, that's going to make a difference. Your shoulders. So you have to use all these little movements to decide what is it that gets me into best position. And then scope in and out is going to make a difference, right? So you do all these little tiny movements. If, you're, if you feel your assistance too far and you're getting traction, you say, can you come closer to me? Take, you don't feel any tension. The focus has to be what gets me into the best position to cannulate. And then you do small movements here and there to get into best position. Now here the new variable is that this is a new scope. You and I both don't know what the best situation is for cannulation with the scope. So now look at my, so if I can't get into the right angle, I'm dropping my left hand to see if that gets me slightly better. And with time, these become second nature to you. But otherwise, not fast movements, small movements like this. Dusrek, if there's too much motility, consider do I, do I want to give uh, atropine or not? Now we're getting closer gently, pushing in a tiny bit gets me under the papilla more. You can see now my scope is pointing more under the papilla. And here, when I'm training people... Hello? Yes. Can, yeah, yeah, can we see the floral, please, and take the room? Yeah, that's, keep it at that, please. Okay. So then, the other thing I will do is I will basically, in this situation, even lock my big wheel. And when I feel that I'm quite optimized, that this is the best I can do right now, then I will consider cannulating, okay? So small movements to fine tune where you want to go and then see what you want to do. And this looks like a reasonable trajectory. I may still, in my mind, I'm thinking I'm still pointing downwards and I want to go up towards the bile like this way. So I might have to cannulate and bow up a bit, but it all depends. So I'm going to hand it back to you and then you can do, you can see if you can, with small movements, get into position not large, big uh, movements. And if you feel comfortable, then say I'm good and then you know you can just go for it. Okay, so gentle, there you go. Okay, now what do you think? Are you in or not? Do you want your assistant to do anything? Yes, okay. Are you, are you engaged? Yes, sir. Okay. Try wire? No? So we have to change our angle, right? Or do something different? No. So I actually end up in these situations up Kese. So very nice. Good job, excellent. Take it. I've injected it. When you're ready. And stop. Uh, for a withdrawal, can I have a cannula? 
वायु को ध्यान ओके इंजेक्ट बिट मॉर Okay. It's not clear. Maybe there is a distal stone, but it's not clear to me. But at this point, we might as well get our sphincterotomy done and yeah, and then move on. Yeah, I I totally agree. The okay. duct is dilated for sure. Yeah. So now you want to before you, right? We're gonna just slow down and make sure you're in good position. Okay. So what do you think? Is your is your wire in good position? Do you think? Yeah. That looks a bit better, right? Yeah, and then how much are we in? So, so that's a good question. So you can always pull back and reassess. So you can check, and there are different markers. So there's your so the blue first blue is your start of your cutting wire, and as you advance a tiny bit more, you get. I don't know what there must be a distance to that, and there's a lot of wire. One thing you can do if you want the wire outside of the scope, you can move your big wheel away from you. As you move your big wheel away, mm -hmm. you can get more wire out, and then you advance the tone. Then you see more cutting wire. So that's one way. But the main thing is this actually is giving you a bit better trajectory, but you have a lot of cutting wire. So you want to cut where your angle seems to be good. So I think overall this is good. The other thing is you don't have much contact because you're not bowed up at all. So you can do a gentle bit of bow. There you go. And here at this stage, my preference is to hold the scope with the right hand to give it stability. And I can also angle it left to right if I need to for sphincterotomy. Uh, yeah, but that when you do big wheel towards you, you're getting more wire in, so you have to be careful that you don't push advance too much wire in the duct. I think that to me looks pretty good. So if you're ready, let your assistant know, and you can start cutting. I think it's good. I think so is good. Yeah, I think that's okay. good. Yeah. And then just go slow. There's too much tension will also cause a zipper cut. So you have to be careful. I think there's a bit too much tension right now. So just advance your tome a tiny bit. There. Okay, that's it. Ready? Go ahead and cut. Go. You ready? Yeah, the right hand should be on the scope for control. And you can keep cutting. There you go. Keep cutting. You can cut right up that fold, right? So you can, if you drop your left hand towards the floor, it'll change your angle towards more to the left of the duct, which is where you want to go. So just drop your left hand. There you go. It's going to get Yeah. Or towards the pushing can Like that. And that. then you now can cut towards the left. Okay, keep cutting. Just keep cutting. See, your angle is good. Keep heading. That's good. Okay, and then you can, this is the, those are the muscle fibers that Khalid was pointing out. You can see to the right, to the left. And you can see that there's still a mound to the horizontal fold. Yeah. So maybe you can cut a tiny bit more. So just now you have to slow down. A couple more taps. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. You have to make contact though. There you go. Maybe one more. And then I would maybe consider stopping here. That's plenty. So both power off. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Okay, now you have to exchange. So uh, okay? You're listening, right? So if you're not sure if it's enough or not, you can always cut more, right? But if you overcut it and you have a perforation, then you have a problem. So is it is it like a hundred percent? No. But is it eighty? Maybe yes. How much can we cut? Uh, Maybe you can cut more up that fold if you wanted to. But in my practice, at this point, I would do two things. I would inject a bit to see what's going on, mm -hmm. and then I would decide whether to cut more or just start sweeping because we haven't seen anything obvious yet, right? So this may be enough for today. Inject, you Inject. Yeah, go ahead. And inject. So pull through when you're injecting. Pull through. Because you want to see how your sphincter looks. Pull through, pull through, pull through. So you may have a bit more sphincter and you may have some stones, debris slides in there. Maybe consider cutting a tiny bit more, but I wouldn't get overly aggressive here. So advance your tone. Advance it into the back. I don't think so. Is it? I don't want to cut more. <laughs> I think we should exchange. You can get a chote stone only, then they'll come out anyway. Right? So now you're, you're going to do the exchange and you're going to speak okay. very loudly to your assistant. 
uh, this uh, CBD was, uh, uh, we couldn't see anything here. You agree there's nothing that we could see or maybe there's a small I thing that, they may that, be may, that may be shown one when actually the balloon sweep is Exactly. Done. There may be distal no sludge or not. It's not clear to me. So okay. exchanging. Okay. okay, lock it in. Is there, how is the wire locking? Your elevator has to be all the way down. Okay, now we're going to look endoscopically. You're going to look for the zigzags to see if they move. Okay, I'm good. Uh, or if you can't see, descend your, descend your judenum. That's good. The image quality is very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. the image is very nice. On this one, the scope alignment worked out quite well. That, by the way, there is more mount you can, you could have cut this for your nose. The other thing you can see is a stone in the cystic duct, a large one. In the cystic duct, you can see. Come back, please. Keep exchanging. You can go faster. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Yes. You have to. You want your assistant to keep up with you, so you keep going because they will be watching your hands, yes. Yes. especially the experienced ones. Come back. So keep going fast, Come back. Come back. and look for the movement on the wire and keep going. Okay, now the wire is moving, so you have to may have to slow down, but you have to keep moving. So keep moving. There you go. And now what I would do is have your wire, lock it. The way you lock it is under your finger, over your finger, and under. Okay? So that and your finger should be really against the scope. Let's put the bike at the side. Yeah. Utrena. The idea is... Balloon is yeah. Sorry. <laughs> In fish. What do you want? Balloon, basket, balloon. Extraction, balloon. Take a good. Sorry. 15 to 18 mm. How much? 15 to 18 mm. What's your duct size? This is less than 1 cm. Yeah, about 11, 10, 11. Like high limb jacket gets dilated. So you know that you don't want it all the way up. Hold on. Pull, pull, pull. Yeah, we will unlock it. Absolutely, you will unlock it or advance. Second, if you lock it on the balloon, you can actually tear the balloon. So you have to be careful as you're coming out. So go ahead. And the first thing you're going to do is, the mid duct looks okay, right? You can just start a sweep from here quite honestly. Just because all you want to do is clear the distal duct initially. So you're going to say balloon up, right? So you go ahead and say balloon up. Okay, and now you're going to pull towards you, right, till it's snug. Now it is not Okay, so now what you do is you lock it in your right hand, your left hand. What Khalid said, you push your scope in a tiny bit, and push your scope in a tiny bit, big wheel up, and then small wheel to the right. And then, and then you're gonna oh, not too much. And then you're gonna push your scope in as you you put tension on the balloon. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. So you get, yeah. Now you're getting long position. So you got too far from it. You see that? So you have to have more tension on the balloon when you do that maneuver. So try again. It's just uh, eight second. Let me get you back into position. Balloon down. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. It's unstable again. Yeah. So we're reducing the scope again because we're going into long position. So you're going to stay under it like that, right? So we have to see where we are before you do this. Okay, so you get under it like this, small wheel to the right, big wheel up, right? The so thumb down, big, you can even, again, you can lock it if you want, especially the small wheel. Get under it like that, big wheel up, and then you have the balloon up bring it up all the way, lock it in your fingers, mm -hmm. and then you grab the scope, mm -hmm. advance and turn clockwise. Okay, so there are multiple steps here. So you have to learn to control the balloon with your left hand, and you have to have tension on it as you do this maneuver. See, there should be tension on it. 
And is it all the way down? Is it as far down as it needs to come? Now you're going to try that maneuver. It's a tension, you know. See, it won't come out unless it's a tension. So, this is very important. This score, you have to learn to have tension on it. Okay, and now do it. Almost, keep doing it. Almost. Careful, yeah. You're getting, I don't know if it's the balloon size, sphincterotomy, or the scope. But that's the idea, or your tension. Let me try once. You're almost there. Balloon down. Okay. So, Balloon up. The balloon is up or no? Okay. So, yahan pe aagya, right? As close as possible and then this. See, but this tension, I don't know what camera is but this tension is really important on your, on the balloon. Okay, uske bagayar, balloon down. Uske bagayar, what happens is that you don't have control of the balloon. So, it has to be really tight up against the scope. So, try that again. Uh, Mustafa? Yes. Uh, nothing came out, right? Not yet. No. Okay. I think we'll do one more and then do an occlusion and be done. There, his, uh, you can see the cystic is filled with stones, as is the gallbladder. Yeah, so go up, go up more. Okay, go up higher. Okay. Start now. Okay, that's good. So Abab, you can sweep from here, big wheel up, I think we'll do one without, and then we'll do one last one. Okay? Okay, and you can follow it on the floor. Okay? Okay, now when it's snug, you have to keep it really tight against, yeah, there you go. And then, small to the right, small to the right to get better alignment. And then you hold the scope with the right hand. And then advance firmly. There you go. Keep going. There. You just came through, right? Did you feel it? Yeah. And then balloon down. Relax your wheels and pull back a tiny bit. Pull back your scope a tiny bit. And we'll go right back up. Pull back your scope. Scope pull back. Uh -huh. There you go. And now you can advance it again. Okay? okay. This time you're going to do an occlusion. Those fibers, maybe we can cut more. Now you can see, you can see the duct inside. Yeah. Well, we could have cut more and we, we could have ended up with a perforation, right? So you don't have to cut 100%. Okay, okay. You can but, see the... But, but we can cut more. I wouldn't cut more. Okay. Why do you... Why would you want to cut more? Okay. What is the goal here? Adequacy, right? The goal is, can I achieve what I want to achieve with cutting? And if not... At this point, I would stop regardless. Even if there was a two centimeter stone, I would balloon dilate from here. I wouldn't cut more. Well, if I want to cut it more, I will cut the inner side or only the outside. If you really wanted to cut more, you could try and cut more on the inside, but you may end up with a perforation. And that's why I would say, I would say that this is enough. I've achieved a big sphincterotomy and it's safe to do balloon dilation without causing pancreatitis. If I needed to. Okay, go ahead and do a quick sweep, uh, occlusion, and then we should be done. Uh, right, so go up all the way. Good, watch the wire. Okay, balloon uh, up. Fine. Yes. Is Dr. Sajda around? Okay, balloon up. Not seeing her right now. No. No. Okay, okay inject. Fine. Yes. Okay, slow down. Okay, okay you want to let it fill, right? Inject, inject. Okay, now come through. Up, come through. So that's a bit of air above the balloon, so we don't worry about that too much. Balloon thora shet kam karna 
Thank you. Uh, that's all air bubbles. So those can give a false, false positive, and there's nothing there. So I think uh, we just pull out and suction and be done. We're done. Very nice. Bhatsa. Uh, first time gangrenation and synchrotomy with control. Or stomach, stomach be fed. Section kidney, right? Achha, aap nikal ke na, what I would like you to do is leave your gloves on and hold the scope for a second. Wo to saaf hai na, the fist is saaf hai. Ah. Should I stop the recording? You can stop it, yeah. Because I want to, Dr. Sadhana has wanted us to compare the two scopes for their flexion. Sir, are you satisfied with our scope? Sorry? This was good. This was very good. The image quality was excellent, actually. Case to Nuna Kia. So he knows. Did I can I have wheels relaxed? Are we still recording or are we still transmitting? Okay, let's just show them. So we have the two scopes side by side to thumb down. All the way down? All the way. Full flexion. All the way. Uh, uh, there are two things I wanted to check. Yes. Ek to ye dekhne ke this is. And the other way. And that's good. Or. And 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 the overall stiffness, as in the scope, when you feel holding it from the. You feel that this is as stiff as that one, although that one is an old scope. I was going to say this one's seen more wear and tear. Um, I took my gloves off. But let me just. See. Gloves, gloves, gloves. No, I'll wash my hands. Yeah, naya hai, but it's more. I think it's got more sort of malleability than the Olympus. It 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 yes. feels more uh, flexible, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's um, one of the reasons why um, maybe you know when you're advancing into the pylorus. Yeah. It you kind of makes a bigger loop. loop in the stomach because yeah. it's more floppy. Yeah. Or, uh, or less stiff. Less stiff. Yeah. But, the, but, but the tip is fine. The tip is actually really good and I'll say the image quality is very image good. Image quality is excellent. It's yeah. excellent. But yeah, they can look at these, these sideways movements. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's very good, yeah. I think it's wow, look at that. I don't know what you can do with that in an ERCP. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say the image quality is impressive. Exactly, yeah. I will say I have had the in quotes, pleasure of using the Pentex ERCP scope and this function better because that's an even more flexible scope. Really? This, yeah, and this function better than the Pentex, but I have nothing against Pentex. That's just <laughs> no, neither do I. Yeah. Okay. So. Thank you. Okay, thank you.